What is up guys? My name is Gabe. Today we are doing another episode of Extreme Cheap Steaks. I said it wrong. Cheap skates. I really said cheap steaks again. I know it's the third episode of this. If you haven't seen the other two, I'll link them down below in a playlist. You think I would know by this point? Why is this word so hard? Before we get in the video, if you guys want to grab any merchandise, as always, you can go to PositiveFriday.com. I will leave that in the top of the description down below. Now I'm gonna say the famous three words. Here we go. My name is Amy Elizabeth, and I'm the world's cheapest multimillionaire. Does that sound weird to anyone else? I already know I'm gonna cry. Like, there's no hope. With a personal net worth of $5.3 million, this 50-year-old Las Vegas entrepreneur refuses to throw a single penny down the drain. This is my beautiful home. As you can see, it's full of upscale furniture. I like nice things, but I don't like to pay for them. Over here, I have one knife. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. So that entire drawer is just dedicated to the one knife, nothing else. My question is, why is it the only thing in the drawer? Usually you keep all your silverware together. Also, what if someone comes over? Do you share the knife? I guard it with my life. It never touches water. I just wipe it down on a towel. Uh-uh, no. Didn't she put things in the dishwasher right before that? She saves more than 200. I'll be honest, I used to clean my silverware the same way. When I was seven, I saw there was wood. Okay, use the sink. Use a little bit of water, some soap, boom, clean. So the way I got the house is when my ex-husband and I decided to divorce, he's got a good heart and he insisted that I keep the house because he knew that if I didn't keep the house, I would move into a hovel of a one bedroom apartment to save money. And he's right. Amy won't him? pay anyone to clean her home. So her ex-husband volunteers uh -huh. to do it for free. Oh, stop. This makes me feel bad. Like I can tell he probably still loves her and wants to be with her, but he just can't handle. I mean, they have one knife. How could they be compatible? saving her $400 a month. If you could start and do the, the toilet, that needs it the worst. Excuse me? To work here. And don't forget to get under the rim because you missed that. Uh, -uh. Every time that she makes those little side comments, I just want to... That really hurt, actually. I'm glad to help her around the house with the cleaning. I do yard work. I drive her to her appointment some once in a while. What don't you do? This is like free exercise for him. Keeps him in shape. Oh, no. I would be done. Girl, I'm sorry. I know you're like a real person, but I feel like I'm watching a television show. Like she's the character we're not supposed to like. I don't know like their situation at all, but I don't like this. Can we just like take her money and give it to him? Did you see the way he looked at the camera? Look at this. One of the times that I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate was I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? Uh -oh. So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, is this is food? a little fishy. What is this? Mike, lunch is ready. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. What? That was your reaction eating cat food? No, no. I would be like, Ugh. here, maybe you some tuna fish. Oh, great. Oh. Uh... I had to take a walk. I had to. I was just so heated. I could like feel my blood boiling. This man, her ex-husband, emphasis on ex, doesn't need to be there. The only thing where I could see, maybe he owes her something. But at the same time, at this point, she is cooking him cat food after he's worked hours on her house. Not their house, her house. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put her past her to try. Definitely cat food. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Mm. I just saved 30 cents. Mm, that's good. I just want to know, like, what is her end goal? You have $5 million. I don't know how much you still have. Probably the whole thing. If not, maybe like 4 million of it left. Where's it going? My car is a 96 Mustang. It's okay. lovely. Some people call it the beast. I have nothing wrong with an old car. And I'm almost afraid to drive with her in it because you don't know if it's going to break down. That's where it gets bad. Once a month, Amy drives four hours each way to Los Angeles in her 17-year-old car. Along with the tires you need, we got the windshield issue. We got the belt issue. A lot of issues. All these safety issues going on right now. I feel very uncomfortable letting you leave my facility with the car in this shape. Does it go vroom vroom? Yes, ma'am, but 
The wheels are almost off. That's fine. But ma'am, it will actually explode. As long as I can drive it, that's fine. This car is definitely not safe What's to be on the, the road. What's wrong with the windshield? It's cracked. So I can still see out of it. Unfortunately, I can't let this vehicle leave. You know, you can Maybe leave it there for a couple days. What kind exactly of pricing are we talking about? All together with everything we're looking at, you're probably looking right over $1,000 for all the repair we see that are needs to be done. Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to pay the money. That's, it's a piece of crap. I grew up in a Jeep that was 15 years old. I actually drove it for a couple years. My dad had it before me. And it got to a point where I had to pay fees like that where the car wasn't even that valuable. And so I just had to like sell it for parts pretty much. You can buy a $5,000 used car and just be safe. I came here for you to look at it, not for you to take possession of it. I and understand. I'm not... I've got lawyers that'll hit you with lawsuits. So you would rather spend thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands on legal fees to sue this guy rather than either fix the car or buy a new car. It is Nevada state law as a repair facility. It is my obligation to make sure these- She's not listening. You can more welcome get it towed out of here or push it out of here. I cannot let you drive the vehicle. If I get a few different estimates and it's all the same, then I go home and I decide and I run my calculator. Is it really time for a new car? Wait, so you're telling me she just does that all the time? You know, I feel like that means she probably goes to like so many different locations hoping to get a discount by suing them. She won't even spend $100 to put a good set of tires on her car. The guy at the back looks so sad. He's like, I would say she is the cheapest millionaire I ever met before. Hey, yeah. Mike, this is Amy. Listen, I need you to come get me at the stupid garage. Is Mike her ex-husband? Is that what we're about to see? Is he going to then have to drive like hours away to pick her up? Let's find out. I'm going to have my ex-husband come and pick me up and oh, he's no. going to take me to the airport. It's too nice. Tonight, I'm on my way to the airport right now, and I'm gonna bum a ride for free. I want to throw this so bad. It's the only thing I could. I, did I just turn that on? I'm just gonna gently put this back. Whew, I'm okay. Sure. Try to find a, a pilot that's got an empty plane or something like that, you know, and uh, entice them to give her a ride. Are you kidding me? She's gonna try and get a free flight? Okay, why don't you wait here and let me show you how it's done. She's great. Hi there, how are you? Are you a pilot? Yes, I am. Oh, terrific. Okay. Well, I need to get a flight to LA. I'm desperate to get there today because I have a business trip. Please just don't care about her. And I need to get a free flight. There's a guy out here, you might see him. His name's Mike. Uh, uh, I see a plane, I don't yeah, see a it's, person. It's a it's behind the other airplane. Okay. Are you Mike? Yeah, I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. My name's Amy. How you doing? And the other pilots in the hangar uh, suggested I talk to you. I'm trying to find desperately no. a flight to LA in the Please. Santa Monica area. Please say no. Okay. Um, you have no other way to get to LA. No way to get there. Well. Yeah, I guess that'll be all right. It's, it's, it's Why is everyone so nice? Kind of not really fun to really fly alone anyway. This man was like fixing the plane. Why? Why even have money? At that point, like you don't spend it. Your goal is to just be as cheap as possible. This is how millionaire cheapskates live. Oh. By the way, I forgot to ask, but can I get a ride home too? Did she really ask that? Give this video a like. All my social media is down below. I'm sorry, I'm looking down. I just like, I'm done. I've been filming this video for two hours. Goodbye. I just don't know what else to say. Peace out. That's what I'm supposed to say. Goodbye.